great, beautiful rising to all my king, queen, guys, and goddesses. This is your boy, Terrible One Star. I gotta break it down to all my earth signs, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus, or wherever is that in your chart. North node, North node, South node, Mars, Moon, Venus, whatever is that in your chart. Now, with that basically being said, salutations. Now, this is for the earth signs again. Let's go ahead and jump into this now. Let's go to do the disclaimer. This is a general reading. Take it as it resonates. If it resonates for you, make sure you hit that like, comment, subscribe, and share button. However, if not, you know I try to be the best person person that I can for you and shout out to my Virgos this is your sign on top of the one that's coming out later on today okay whenever I make it time for you okay I promise you I got you Virgos now the term the title of this one is you accepted things for how they are mentally now you're pushing towards your happiness okay again you accepted things for how they are mentally and now you're pushing towards your happiness now I feel like for Taurus I feel like right now you may be overcoming over a healing transition or you finally got your strength back and you back into your authority Capricorn I feel like right Right now, if somebody tried to hinder you and put you any type of way, right now you are started, starting to acknowledge the toxicity within people before you move forward. Now, Virgo, you know y'all my baby, so I got to sit up and tell you, Virgo, you may be going through a situation right now, even though you healing as well, even though you grounding and doing everything y'all got to do. But as Earth signs together, you are finally realizing that things that's going on in your life that you may be feeling trapped down and stuck about. Now, I feel like it may be a situation that happened in your past where somebody want to return and give you an apology about some type of situation or something that you are uh, or some type of addiction that they may have now I feel like you no longer falling apart you no longer feeling silent and you may be ready to open up however this person pain that they feel for making you feel trapped they ready for a solid foundation with you now the apology has been a long road yes you may be feeling drained about this but you are no longer sidetracked about what you want for your life okay now they may be feeling uh, feeling falling apart or things may be sinking into truth and clarity come Comes out now even though you're not speaking to people right now I feel like you may understand your importance understand your value and now you being cautious with this new beginning as you want to start over okay in your life you expanding even though you hit some type of final straw a breaking point but it helped you master your divine uh, your divine feminine let me say it correctly will you be nurturing and caring about what you want into your life from some type of soulmate now I feel like it's a karmic cycle that you are escaping from and you are pushing away and now you are looking forward to new options and new stability in your life. I feel like you're really ready to take that risk when it comes to your happiness. Now, whoever may be falling apart or may be falling to spare or anybody truth honesty, I feel like you are still being kind-hearted even though you understood the lessons. You are looking at different perspectives of keeping a clear mind about any conflicts that may be coming in that may be clashing. Again, even though you may be cold and aloof, your loyalty still stands with yourself because you know the importance of the values of what you you want instead of being blocked up with mixed signals again with a twin flame or some type of reflection now the pain that you may have been going into you being very analytical and sharp and I feel like you don't want to go through any more broken promises or no don't no longer want to go through anything that you need to release yourself from or walk away from because new beginnings but you got to open your heart and be ready to receive the abundance because somebody's coming in directly for for you okay earth signs now I also feel like somebody want to come in and make amends with you and some type of second opportunity because you have not closed the door with a certain individual a certain energy that came into your life so let's go ahead and get on up into this spirit guys in the universe we thank you for every earth sign coming to you right now capricorn virgo and taurus lead us guide us give us the blueprint and the understanding towards our highest good and highest expectations now anybody wish any ill will mentally physically spiritually financially what we're going to do we're going to take that energy and we're going to return it to the universe and abundance of love and not to the sender okay i say i say I mean, all right, now you accepted things for how they are. Now, I also feel like right now you are starting to understand the toxic behaviors of the people that you may be dealing with or the people that you closely around. Now, not only that, I feel like right now, Taurus, Vir Virgo, and Capricorn, I feel like what's going on into your life, even though you are turning around as well, you are moving in stability. Some of y'all are moving in a harmonious balance to be more independent. Some of you are accepting the truth for the way that it is about certain individuals in your life, and you just saying, hey, it is what it is, and what you don't see coming i see that you are being more empathic and being more emotional when it comes to your gifts okay so what we're going to do with this one for my earth signs we're going to work on awakening on this one this is going to give you mental clarity and inspiration and the truth that you need to open up your heart chakra okay now interlace 
interlace both fingers with both hands with the tip of the thumbs touching and pointing downward. Extend the index finger upward, touching them together. Bring the hands close to the heart center. Lengthen the spine. Relax the shoulders. Now, focus on this. Divine knowledge and inspiration awaken my highest truth, okay? Divine knowledge and inspiration awaken my highest truth. Now, what we normally do right here, earth signs, we breathe in positive energy, let out all the negative energy. Y'all my A1 day ones, y'all my earth signs, y'all the one who rock with me, especially Virgo. Y'all already know how we do. So let's go ahead and breathe in positive energy. You ready? Let's go. Breathe in. Positive energy, positive light, full abundance to your highest good and understanding. Now hold it and release. All the negativity, all the stress, all the worries, all the doubts, all the concerns, anything that's not suitable for you, very good. Let's breathe in, positive energy, positive light, full abundance to your highest good and understanding. Now hold it, earth signs. And release out all the toxicity, all the negativity, all the stress, all the worries, all the doubts, anything that's hindering you or keeping you stagnated. We letting that go as well back to the universe. One more time, breathe in. Divine knowledge and inspiration awaken my highest truth. Divine knowledge and inspiration awaken my highest truth. Hold it and release out. Divine knowledge and inspiration awaken my highest truth. Again, divine knowledge and inspiration awaken my highest truth. I say, I say, amen. All right, let's go ahead and see what we got for the earth signs. Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. Make sure y'all hit that like, comment, subscribe, and share button. Now, let's go ahead and get in prayer. Spirit, guys, and the universe, we just thank you for everybody coming to the channel. Lead us, guide us, give us the blueprint and the understanding towards our highest good and highest expectations. Anybody wish any ill will, mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally, what we're going to do, give it to the universe and not to the sender. I say, I say, amen. Let's go ahead and see what the current energy for the earth signs. Spirit, guys, and the universe, what is the current energy for earth signs? Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. What is the current energy? Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I say. Oh, Virgo. I see right now this is the divine choice that had to be meant for you, okay? Now, okay, let's see what else what we accept them for how they are. Virgo, you going to death, you going through a definite rebirth. So I feel like right now it's old energy that you may be shedding out from poor decisions that you probably have made numerously in your past or Capricorn or uh, Taurus, which one, whoever this may be, okay? Now, right now, we got the judgment card basically being in reverse. So I feel like something that you may need to look at very closely and detailedly about something that may be going on in your life. I feel like right now you're starting to understand that the poor decisions that have came into your life, you are let no longer letting your pride and your ego get in the way. Now, I feel like you letting, some of you are also understanding about the poor choices dealing with people that you had around you, people that was being pretending, people that like to do a lot of exaggeration, even though you was hoping and manifesting for some things to get better. However, however, I feel like you may have been suppressing this energy when it came to a tower moment. So I feel like you understood some of the lessons of the grief and the sorrow when it came to frustrations or uh, emotions rising up to create some type of turmoil. Now, I feel like this poor choice that you made has also helped you elevate and become stronger into your heart and stronger into the mind of what you need done. Now, it may be some shocking news that came in that may created a tower moment that made you feel like you was falling apart or make you feel like something wasn't right. Now, again, with this tower moment, it may open up the strength that you need to understand about a third party situation or some type of secrets of betrayal dealing with somebody else shedding love in another light. Now, I also feel like this lesson helped you become more abundant. However, you had to go through a, a, death, a death moment, a death and a rebirth. So I had to feel like in order for you to ground, you had to end through through some old situations that spirit pushed you out of that you were still hanging on for that you know that was not good for you, okay? Now, I also feel like right now with this choice that you have made or something you hanging on to, you may be feeling like you trapped. You may be feeling like you stuck in some type of situation in your life or something because of something that you are infatuated with, something that you want, something that you addicted to. Now, I feel like right now, the things that you addicted to, it is overcoming and it is uh, hindering you from the growth that you need to do because you are going through repeated cycles that keep putting a lot of burdens on your plate. Yes, what this person is challenging because you want recognition, you want victory, you want the satisfaction, you want the accolades, you want the good time. But however, the more burdens that keep pressing down on you, Earth signs, I feel like right now you clinging on to instead of accepting the whole whole fact of the matter that this love situation that you may be going into right now, it may be something that you need to acknowledge that is very toxic. 
toxic. Yes, I feel like you're hanging on to toxic type of energy. Yes, you got new opportunities and offers coming in for your life. However, you're not expressing yourself. You're not even expressing yourself to end through this old situation. Now, even though you're accepting things for how they are, I feel like right now somebody arrogance of the truth not coming out is affecting somebody emotionally. I feel like you're not expressing yourself the way that you need to need to do Virgo Capricorn or Taurus because some of you are allowing the wheels to turn. You are starting to accept things for the way that they are. Now, again, you're getting the realization, you're getting the idea and the epiphany that somebody may not want you the same way as you want them. And even though you may feel isolated, sad, or rejected or lonely about the situation, I feel like it's very, very challenging due to the fact that this energy is so alluring and so charming. You know it's toxic. You know you can't shake it or it may be some type of soul tie that you need to come to some type of research and some type of buckle down or some type of hard work that you need to put in place in order to overcome or transmute this energy. Now, I feel like with this toxic person, you are starting to realize the person character for how they are. And I feel like now you're starting to look out and make some type of plans to make things better for you and finding the things that is your best interest or things that's nurturing for you to help you grow. Yes, you've been buckling down and putting in a lot of work with this energy. However, it keeps being absorbing. It's not, it's not giving you the, the things that you want. It's not giving you the emotional stability that you need because the person of this energy is holding that's holding this energy is very unreliable and very irresponsible when it comes to speaking speaking up about the things that y'all need to grow or speaking up about things period to help y'all get into a better light okay now not only that this person may want to come in and apologize for making you feel isolated sad and rejected and lonely due to maybe something that may have been going on dealing with their attitude now their attitude could have got in the way their ego could have got in the way where they just didn't want to be truthful and they was always trying to make some type of resolution or you found a resolution to stop putting yourself in action dealing with these type of individuals now i also feel like the poor judgment that you made or poor choices that you made in your life earth signs it has exhausted you it has drained you out to the point where you at your last limb when it comes to situations now i feel like all the back and forth energy like one minute you're loving here next minute is gone i feel like you get into the realization that you need to stop juggling the situation in your life and start adapting to the situations when it comes to your importance and when it comes to your value now i also see right now virgo the uh capricorn and taurus spirit guys in the universe what else do we have I feel like right now, something may be challenging for you is to go into self-independence and start loving yourself like it once was. Now, I feel like your pride and ego may be in the way when it comes to you thinking before you reacting over something that's no longer suitable for you or something that's bored. Now, I feel like these untrustworthy people or these people with this toxic behavior that you've been trying to build with and grow with, right now, you looking back at where you came before and now you may be starting to make some type of action about the manipulated truth that may have been going on to keep you at rock bottom. Now, somebody one, I feel like right now you are self-absorbed energetically and emotionally with your energy, even though you're trying to stay cool about a situation, but when things emotionally get out of control, you become emotionally vulnerable and emotionally blocked dealing with this soulmate or person that you're dealing with. It's time for you to take the genuine leap of faith. Don't feel like you're toxic. Don't feel like you're in despair, falling apart, because happiness is coming in once you get through the, the sad, rejected, and the loneliness, and once you start balancing your emotions the way that it needs to be. Now, I feel like what you are overcoming as well is learning how to tap more into your emotions than dealing with this same energy that you normally been dealing with from your past. Now, even though the past energy shows me with the Knight of uh, Pentacles basically being in reverse, it's showing me somebody who comes in that promise a good game but don't always come through. They always feel with some type of secrets of a trail or some type of manipulation behind the scenes. Now, you may need to take a time out and understand why are these things occurring? Why is you are going through what you are going through and now you are walking towards happiness. Now, if you take the time out, like I said before, you will start manifesting things that's better and suitable for you. Now, this can be another mirror, uh, a mirror reflection that you're going through. So you need to take time and see the same thing that you may be dealing with or dealing with things that may be confusing you or things that you're unsure about. Spirit woman to tell you right now, you're just going through a healing phase. You are healing and you are taking the time that you need to see people for how they are. Yes, this may hurt you. 
you, but you are starting to look at the positive aspects when it comes to these individuals who keep giving this hot and cold energy, who keep bringing this conflicted energy, again, this in and out type of stuff. You are starting to see the truth and the clarity to help you change emotionally and the things that you need to change from as you start to work on yourself. You are starting to flower yourself out of the darkness and back into the light. And now this person or somebody around you want to win by any means or any cause, trying to find any information energetically because only thing you want is balance and truth. Somebody still may be trying to manipulate this behind your back, but right now, don't feel isolated, sad, and lonely. Don't feel like you in poverty or you are just down and out right now because you got new offers coming in. Somebody see you very alluring. Somebody see you very beautiful or beautiful energy. However, once you get through these demands and get through the self-absorption and finally overcome over that last obstacle instead of being blocked with yourself over the emotional instability with other people from spirit and from yourself, then you will start to understand that it's okay to walk away from a situation that no longer suitable for you or no longer fit because you know your value, you know your worth, you know the possibilities that's coming into your life because you're that inspiring individual that got the strongest willpower that I ever seen for an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Now, somebody may be overindulging in alcohol, somebody may be uh, behind your back doing a third party with the same sex relationship. Take it as it resonates to each his own, but I also feel like with this, you're finally pushing away and blocking people who want to have you in some type of silent type of situation. Now they may want to come back and be clear, but I don't think you like, nope, I'm too busy releasing, I'm purifying myself, I'm working on cleansing me away from toxic energy dealing with a soulmate that doesn't want to grow the way that I want to grow. Now, I also feel like right now, this irreliable person that could be an old soulmate or a karmic pattern, you start to realize now you don't want to waste your time on that type of energy. Yes, you put a lot of energy into it, but now you're trying to change yourself in a stability, and now you're willing to walk away from anything and everyone emotionally, and you're walking away from things and not looking back about it. Now, happiness is coming in for you. Your joy, your growth, everything is coming in. You being very fulfilled and abundant for these new beginners that's coming into your life, okay? Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. So this is beautiful. So whatever you have cut out of your life, spirit is bringing something new. Now this person maybe want to chase you and probably acknowledge their toxic behavior, but now you empathic enough that by you going through the healing that you are going through, you are no longer being blocked. You are no longer having mixed signals dealing with anybody with conflicting type of energy or anybody want to bring drama and conflict. You are no longer dealing with third party situations you finding some type of resolution dealing with this you're like I don't want my energy mixed up in this every time I go through it I be I have to be cautious about the pain that comes down the long run when I open my 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 doors up to you when I lower my walls the cycles and moments that I have been through in my life has been going repetitiously the same way and now I'm panicking and becoming a genuine risk over people that still being sneaky and manipulative towards me so I feel like right now earth signs you accepted things for how they are with this individual and I feel like right now you are no longer pouring your energy into other people. Like you don't pour so much into them. Now I feel like you're pro progressing and start to see this new cycle better with communication because you're telling people no. You are no longer falling for the gossip. You're no longer falling for the manipulation. You're getting the understanding to take the stand that you need and stamp down on what you need as you finally take time to open your heart and be more receptive on the things that you need. And now you're being committed to taking the time out. You're being committed to your own promise to push forward. And this will create the foundation that you need to make it so beautiful. That's why you choose a happiness overall. So Earth Signs, this is your reading, Capricorn Virgo Taurus. Now, if you want a personal reading, we'll be in the description box below. Get at me, talk to me. Let's go to make this happen. Now, let's go ahead and close this out. Peace, love, and light. Light, love, and peace. I love you. God love you. Universe love you. Make sure you love yourself. That's the most important thing on the channel. Till I see y'all beautiful souls to the next time. I shay, I shay, I'm in, baby. Yeah.